I have not one, not two, but three pairs of Avaya shoes to share with you guys. I'm going to go over each pair individually. I'm going to let you guys know whether or not they are comfortable, how they fit on my feet, and whether or not I feel like they're worth their price tag. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I love to talk about all things related to fashion. Most of the time we talk about things that are handbag related, but today we are going to be talking about shoes. Shoes are something that's a little bit tricky for me because I do have square feet. I will pop up a photo, not of my feet, but of the shape of my feet right here for you guys to see what I am talking about. My toes are separated. They do not squish together and therefore I have a hard time finding shoes. I don't necessarily have wide feet, but I do have, like I mentioned, squared feet, so they don't taper off, which can make them a little bit uncomfortable in certain shoes. Wide feet shoes are definitely too wide for me, and narrow shoes or regular shoes sometimes are a little bit too narrow for me. Out of the two, I would say that I am more prone to wear a narrow foot or a normal shoe uh, size than I am a wide shoe size. So when Vivaya reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration with them, I was really excited when I saw that they had square toe shoes. So let's go ahead and jump into this first pair of shoes. The box is absolutely stunning. It's made out of cardboard and it says step into conscious comfort, stylish, sustainable. And then it has their brand name right there. On the side of the box, it says no waste, just misplaced treasure. You decide what it is going to be when you ups, upcycle your box. So I think that's really cool. They are a sustainable company. They're known for being sustainable. All their shoes are made out of recycled materials. The first pair of shoes that I want to go over are these black little ankle booties here. They are really cute. I love that they have a square toe, but they're tapered in still, so it gives you that elongated, flattering look of a pointed toe without the uncomfortability of a, po a pointed toe shoe. For me, this is a really good shape for my foot. I like the fact that the heel is a unique shape. It kind of tapers out and goes a little bit wider. Now, as far as the actual material, it is stretchy, but it's not extremely stretchy. So it feels like a stretchy material that's going to stretch over your foot very easily, but it's not going to stretch out over time and become saggy. It's the same stretchy material all the way down. It does have little cut out hole details, which makes it so that your feet aren't too hot but the tip of the shoe is a lot more solid, keeping your toes nice and warm. I think that was a really good design feature because you do get the best of both worlds. You can wear socks with these, but I opted not to. I don't typically wear socks with my boots, and especially because it has this little cutout detail. It does have this little tab here, which makes it easy to pull on and off. And as you guys can see, I have used these boots. They have got some wear and they are really, really comfortable. I have used these a couple of times now. These are actually the most used pair out of the three I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. And I have been finding that these are really easy to style. They look really cute with dresses because it does form to your ankle. So it's not gonna add any width to your ankle or any bulkiness. And it also looks really cute with jeans because the jeans flow right over it. I haven't tried them with skinny jeans yet, but I imagine that because this is stretchy, if you have a skinny pair of jeans, it would be able to go over the skinny jean as well. Now let's talk about whether or not I found these shoes to be comfortable. As I mentioned, I've used them a few times now. The very first time I used them, I used them for about three hours while on my feet. So I was on my feet for about three hours straight without sitting down. And I found that the only time they ever got uncomfortable was right here where my pinky toe is. As I mentioned, I have wider feet. My toes do not taper in, they stay out and wide. And that's the only area it rubbed on there just slightly, but not even enough to leave a blister. And that was my very first time wearing them without any socks. So I would say for me and for my feet and my feet shape, they are very, very comfortable. Now, if you have extremely wide feet or just wide feet in general, I do feel like these are a little bit snug 
if you do have wide feet. If you have narrow feet, these are going to be a dream for you. So this particular pair, do I recommend them? Absolutely. I have nothing but good things to say about them thus far. I don't have any complaints. I can't speak on wear and tear because as I mentioned, these are new and I've only used them a few times. You can see that mine have gotten dirty. That's because I'm wearing them. It's not that big of a deal to me. It is a fabric material, so you can just take a wet washcloth to it and wash them off and that I believe it will come right out. It's just a little bit of dirt on there. So these, this first pair, I'm really, really impressed with. I will have this link down below for you guys. I do find that they are true to size. I typically wear a size 39 and these are in a 39. Now let's talk about a shoe that I feel like is definitely out of my comfort zone. If you guys are on social media, then you have seen all over the place that the cap toe ballet flat style shoes have become very, very popular. They are now in style and I was a little bit intimidated by the style, which is why I opted for this pair. But not only are they a cap toe shoe, they have a slight little heel to them. So they are very feminine, very girly, very polished and that's just not me i like things a little bit edgy a little bit girly but not necessarily really chic and polished so i was going out of my comfort zone with these but let me tell you guys i've worn these one time i styled them with a little black dress and i thought that they were so cute i felt like a million bucks as far as comfort goes i've only worn these one time with that little black dress but I was walking all over nature. I was walking through rocks, I was walking through grass, I was walking up and down hills, and it was really, really comfortable. I never felt like I was slipping in these. As you can see on the bottom, it has some texture to it, which adds a little bit of grip, which I really, really appreciate, especially in something that has a little bit of a heel. Now, as far as shoe size on these, I got my typical size 39 and they fit very comfortably. I think that they run true to size. I will say that these are just a tiny, tiny bit more narrow than the boots are on my feet, at least I found. So they don't look like they are any more narrow, but they feel just the tiniest bit more narrow for me. The back right here rubbed on the back of my ankle just slightly. It did not leave a blister or a red mark, but I did only have these on for an hour or two. But as I mentioned, I was walking throughout nature and they didn't really cause me any problems. As you can see on the inside of this, it is very cushioned, very soft. And that goes for the back as well. It has a little bit of a cushioned extra back right here. I think that these were really thought out. They really were well designed. I think they're really cute. And I am so excited to style these more, you guys. Out of all three of these pairs, this is a pair that I am most excited about which shocks me to pieces because this is a pair that I was most intimidated with. Before I jump into my last pair of shoes to share with you guys, I do want to quickly mention a few of their other styles that I feel like I am really, really impressed with. And one of those is being their running heels. I don't know what running heel stands for, but you guys, if you can run in a pair of heels, that is extremely impressive to me. They also have different ballet flats, some of which have a pointed toe, some of which have a square toe. If you have feet that are shaped like mine, the square toe is gonna to be absolutely perfect for you. They have boots and shoes that are water repellent. You guys, from my knowledge and what I've read about the brand, a lot of their ballet flats can actually be machine washable. You just take out the insert and then you can wash them in the machine. One of the shoes that I am really excited about and I'm highly considering adding to my collection and my wardrobe is the pointed toe bow loafers. I will pop up a photo on the screen for you guys. These are so cute. And you guys, a couple years ago, loafers were all I wore, either loafers or mules. Those were my go-to style of shoes. I kind of got out of them, but I'm really getting back into them lately. I feel like a pair of loafers with a pair of slack pants or wide-legged jeans would be really chic, really in style, really, really cool. And the fact that this brand is sustainable, they used recycled water bottles for every single one of their pairs of shoes. It makes me feel really good about the purchase. 
Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the last pair of shoes. I decided to unbox this one with you guys. I have worn them, so it's not a true unboxing, but I wanted to share with you guys the care that they take in their boxes. So as you guys can see, it does have the Vivaya uh, packaging inside of there. Everything is recyclable. So you can recycle the box and you can recycle the paper as well. And I believe that everything is recycled already. So it's just going back into the sustainability of the shoes. Okay, you guys might be looking at these and thinking, Melissa, those are the same exact boots that you just shared us with the black pair. That is what I thought at first as well, but they actually are not. They are very, very similar. They have the same square toe where it tapers in, but they are not the same. The black shoe has the perforated material here, which makes it breathable and it makes it a little bit more lightweight. These ones have a thick, hardy material, as you guys can see there. I think that this one, the brown one, goes up a little bit higher, just slightly on the calf. And there is no perforations throughout the material. So it's a thick, warm material all the way through. Now, as far as comfort goes, this one, this pair feels just slightly more restrictive than this pair, but not in a bad way. It feels like it holds your foot in, it holds your ankle up. It gives you that support, that nice tight support that we really love in a shoe. It's really warm, so this is going to be a pair that you probably don't want to wear throughout the summer months because it is a cozy boot. It is stretchy, but I do feel, like I said, that the material is a little bit more restricting than the black ones. It has the same pull tab, which makes it easier to put on. It's got the same cool boot detail. And of course it has the bottom with the um, friction so that you don't slide. I got this true to size, just like every other pair and they do fit me very, very well. They are very comfortable. I've used these one time. I used them for a couple of hours and they were very comfortable. I didn't feel like I wanted to take them off. I didn't feel like my feet were bothering me. I hardly even noticed that I had them on. Because they are a little bit more restricting in the material, it is a little bit more difficult to get on, but I wouldn't say that any of these shoes are difficult to get on. These ones are just a little bit more difficult for me. Now, I do have pretty shapely legs. I have wide calves and I do carry a lot of weight in my legs. I am five foot six, I weigh 165 pounds, and I don't feel like these were too tight on my calves. So these are gonna go up right to the bottom of your calf, or at least that's where they hit on me. And they were not constricting, they were not squeezing me whatsoever. A lot of times with boots that are this shape or this size, I find that they squeeze my calf and then make my calf look like a big ball of, of a calf on top of the shoe. That's not the case with these ones. I found that they were very flattering. This is going to be a great boot again to wear with dresses because of that. And it's also really nice to wear with pants as well. I think that these are going to be a staple in my closet this fall season because I've been really, really getting into this color of brown. So what is my overall thought on the brand? I can only go off of first impressions. I can't speak on wear and tear. But so far, there are quite a few features about the brand that I really love. One is that they are sustainable. Two is that they have different boots in different shapes that will accommodate your foot and your uh, foot shape. And three, the fact that all of their shoes, and for me and me personally, didn't take a break-in period. I did not get blisters with any of these shoes. With all of them, I wore them for a lengthy amount of time to test them out for you guys. And I felt like every single pair was easy to style, both casually and dressy. I think it's worth checking out the website and seeing if there is anything that will work out for you and work out for your style. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down below for you guys to check out and make it easy for you and your shopping experience. But until next time, bye guys.